This episode of travel video takes us to Mexico, a Spanish speaking country in Central America. People from Spain started settling here since the beginning of 16th century. The area was then called New Spain. In 1819, it became a Spanish West Indies country in Caribbean. And in 1824, it became an independent country as Mexican Republic. For now, we landed in Cancun at the eastmost part of the country, one of the most tourist frequented in entire North America and a major illegal drug trafficking route. Cancun means throne of snakes in Mayan language. Heading towards our destination. From the airport there are almost wall-to-wall -wall restaurants, hotels and resorts along the Arabian Sea coast. the destination next the most important is a local sim card the room with a view and the view from the balcony. The accommodation block straight at the bar. And this is Gita. She will be with us for the entire shoot. the bar behind not yet behind the bar then dinner buffet cactus salad never heard before Evening entertainment. My bedmate. This is 1.6 million square kilometers Gulf of Mexico formed by the tectonic process of the plates about 300 million years ago. This gulf once changed the history of our planet Earth. About 66 million years ago, a 10 kilometer radius asteroid fell in the gulf, creating a crater of about 150 kilometers diameter. The impact energy was 1000 billion times more than the Hiroshima atom bomb. A cloud of burning earth and rock as well as vapor ejected high up in the atmosphere covering entire earth creating so much heat and blocking sunlight for decades causing demise of most plant and animal species on earth including extinction of dinosaurs. The ashes from the atmosphere started settling on the earth's surface 
forming again soil and rock slowly clearing the sky it took about 2 million years for plant and smaller animals back on earth the process created a huge underground water locks and river streams below the earth surface thereafter in millions of years wherever there were limestone beneath cave like sink holes popularly called cenote developed due to collapse of limestone exposing the water below there is no current estimate of how many cenotes are in mexico but there are over 6000 in this area only cenotes are one of the most visited tourist attraction here especially for swimming diving or snorkeling in the crystal clear water besides photography we are visiting one of the site close to our resort called kantunchi eco park this park has five cenotes besides being surrounded by tropical gardens and diverse wildlife like spider monkeys different bird species raccoons deer and reptiles samples of the species in this park nearby the park within a few kilometers there are at least dozen such cenotes the cenotes are usually 1 to 6 meters water depth but this is a part of one of the largest underwater cave systems and is the deepest known underwater cave passage at about 120 meters depth the whole cenote system connected to it called sak aktan or white cave system is at least 61 kilometers long with 20 aged cenotes in the system interestingly the water temperature of all cenotes remain constant at 25 degrees celsius throughout the year cenotes are not just natural pools and caves they have a great cultural and religious significance to the ancient mayans who believed that the cenotes were passages to the under earth world where gods of deaths or zibaba in mayan language live In fact, Mayans often performed rituals in the cenotes, especially to the god of water, Chak, and treated the sites as sacred. The name of the cenote is Jakilha, which means clear water in Mayan language because of its crystal clear water. Here, rays of light shine down through the limestone mesmerizing beauty cenotes are quite at a distance and this is the cart is used to travel between one cenote to the other that was horse driven cart 
and these are the horses and here is the track although we walk down there is one more cenote in this park where we cannot go without a guide and underwater gear the cenote has to be reached by climbing down through a ladder to a underground river we are skipping that because we are here for videography not for underwater sports the cenotes here are often featured in documentaries like bbc earth and many movie sequences now from prehistory to history this is tullum moyan ruin one of the most tourist visited archaeological site in entire mexico similar to taj mahal in india one of the earliest known civilizations is maya originating in around 2000 bc almost at the same time as the indian vedic civilization starting first in mexico and spreading east to belize guatemala honduras and el salvador there are many archaeological sites in this area but we are visiting a seaside site on the caribbean this site is located at 130 kilometers from cancun inside a national park in an area called tulum a moyan world city the old mayan name was zama meaning city of dawn possibly because this is the only mayan city overlooking sea sun rises over the sea and because of this all structure here face east towards the sea this is one of the last cities made at the end part of the civilization built in around 14th century after christ the city used to be protected on one side by the sea and the land side by a massive wall commonly known as tullum's wall with five gates and corner watch towers the original wall was about 4 meter high 8 meters thick and 400 meters long making one of the most fortified mayan cities at the center of the city on sea side facing the sea here is this pyramid looking main building called castillo or el castillo which means a castle this is about 25 feet high and possibly built in stages over many years near the main castle this is the temple of descending god or temple of venus the deity of venus is worshiped here on the sea side this used to be the temple of yearly cycle an observatory for tracking the movement of sun this was the shrine of god izama izama means god of creator something like brahma in indian mythology there was a beach here where trading canoes used to land from other caribbean islands interestingly even after mayans tulum remained a very important trading port in mexico this site has always been a favorite location for film shootings 
there are many utility structures in the site here is one and here is another and the last look sunrise over the caribbean another day back to the present and exploring the nearby area luxury villas apartment building a beautiful marina waterside restaurants a dolphinarium for dolphin shows little boating canal and the dolphin more dolphin chasing my hat little shopping area finally the destination tequila tequila and tequila finally our resort and the beach wall to wall resorts on the beach here lots of activities swimming in a cove sunbathing soaking in the pool una plaza para cristina de sm honeymooners corner tennis court on the roof theater for the shows tour operators booth gift shop atm on site these guys on site also kids play area the gym and the spa area hot bath pool there are varieties of restaurants spanish japanese mexican and this one is italian there is an ice cream parlor a snacks bar also real bars at every corner more than the number of days in a week this is a pool bar the beach bar right at the beach the lobby bar and the sports bar finally geeta is behind the bar our liquid intake had been mostly tequila here tequila is almost mexico's national drink and originates from a small town tequila in south central part of mexico tequila is produced 
from a plant called blue agave or loosely called tequila plant which mostly contains sugar and was first produced in 16th century before early Europeans arrived, long long before British band the Champs made the name world famous. Finally, the final countdown. This is Binoy Bala and Geeta Megalith video signing off from Airport Lounge, Cancun, Mexico. <laughs>